Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and do a simple example to illustrate what is the purpose of SOS. So let's say we have a business requirement. Let's say consider a business case where we need to develop a program which could search a specified string. Suppose we would like to search for a string ABC in customer name field of the customer object. So let's say the requirement is or look for the name ABC across the customer object. So return me all the customer names with the name ABC in it. OK, so let's go ahead and go back to our developer console here. But before going there, let's see if you have any customer with the name ABC in it. So we have test ABC. So let's go ahead and create ABC one. This is one customer. Let's say we let's go ahead and create a couple of these ABC customers. And then we're going to go ahead and see create another with the name ABC customer status. You can change it to paid. So what is the requirement? The requirement is to find the customers with the name ABC. OK, or starting with the name ABC. I'm only looking for the customer name. I'm not looking for anything else. I'm not looking for ABC in the description or I'm not looking for ABC in the external ID. I'm only looking for the ABC in the customer name. So return me the customers whose name starts with ABC. And then we have another one is 23. It's active. It's in, let's say, unpaid status and hit the save button. So we have right now three records, ABC2, 3, ABC, and ABC1, the three records which starts with the with the uh, characters ABC. So now what we're going to do is, so this is we have already created. Now let's go ahead and write a SOSL query which will help us to find out. So we are going to go back to a developer console. We can go to the query editor or we can write in the Apex code here. So first, we're going to go ahead and specify the query. So the query would be, as I already told you, in a writing an SOSL, the most important and the required clause is the flying clause. Now, what are you looking for? So let's say I'm looking for the ABC text and star means it's a wild character. So whatever after ABC, I'm only concerned about ABC. OK, so that should start with ABC. Now, which particular field I'm interested in? So we have to specify the search group. So the search group would be in name fields. So I'm only interested in the name of the customers. OK, only give me those customers where the name is equals to ABC or starts with ABC. Now what you want the now uh, you can also specify what fields you wanted to return back. So you can specify here that OK, return me the name and return me the description. So I'm only interested in these two fields, the name field of the customer and the description field of the customer and the ID. So we're going to go ahead and specify what fields of the object we're interested in. So we're going to go ahead and say customer underscore underscore C. The fields that we're interested in is the ID field. Then we're interested in the, the name field. So this is going to be, this is a query. Let me explain to you. So you're saying find, this is the required clause. Find the text ABC in the name fields. Okay, it's only look for the name fields and look for the text called ABC. And star means white characters. I'm only concerned with the initial should be ABC. Okay, and return me which particular fields I'm interested in. I'm interested in the ID. I'm interested in the name and then the description. So it would return me these three fields of those customers where the name starts with ABC. And whatever the results is, I'm going to go ahead and store those results into this list. So whatever the results are from the query, I'm going to go ahead and store these results into this S object. So I'm going to go ahead and say create a list of, because see each record will be a each record will have three things. We'll have ID, we'll have name and description. So we are list of list. Okay, so this is going to be a S object. And the name of my list is, let's say, customer list. So this is the customer list. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and see what returns, so you can also go ahead and specify system.debug. 
the result is and then you can display the customer list here so this is so i'm displaying whatever the customer list is returned from the query i'm going to go ahead and display that list so this is what the query looks like so we have find abc the wild character star in the name fields only in the name field so if there is so let's say if i create a record a customer record where the name is let's say but the description has a character abc in it okay so what will happen is this particular record will not get returned because abc is not available in the name field it is available in a description field i'm only looking for the name field so let's go ahead and create another customer record where abc is in the description as well and let's say the name is equals to this is the name and it's an active status and hit the save button so now what we have done here is now we have customers which have which are which have the name abc in them but there are customers where the description has the text abc in them but this particular query of ours is only looking in the name fields it is not looking in the other fields okay so let's go ahead and execute this program there's an error at line number 2 column 55 so line number 2 So you can see here the result is this particular customer it only returned you with the test abc the name then abc 23 the name abc and abc 1 so it has returned all the names all the all the records which has the name abc in them okay or which has the name abc in them but this particular query did not return those records where the description has the has abc text in them it only returned those customers with the name of abc even they are starting with the abc or they are they have abc in between so it returned all the all the records which have the name abc in them okay but if you go ahead and change this to let's say instead of saying the name fields if you specify here the all fields then what will happen it will also take a look at the description of those fields and other fields of those particular object and it will try to search for the text abc in all the fields and whichever records it has it's going to go ahead and give you so let's go ahead leave it back to name fields so this is what our customer list is so customer list has how many records in it it has the customer list has how many records it has one then it has 2 abc 23 then 3 name abc and then abc 1 so it has returned you four records now let's go ahead and see if we change from the name fields to all fields what will happen so this time it returned you four records now let's see what will happen if you change it to all fields so now if you execute the program go to the debug only section this time the records will be more so it will covers test abc it has abc 23 in it it has abc in it it has the abc 1 in it but if you'll see here the name is julie but it still gave you the description because the description has abc in it okay even this particular record the name is huel but the description has abc 1 to in it so it not only looked at the name fields it also looked at the other fields of that customer record and gave you all the all those records which have the text abc in them so this is what the sosl query looks like as you know we have used the find clause which is the required clause then whatever are you searching for you have specified here abc star star is a wild character here in all fields means look at the different fields of the customer object not only in the name field of the customer object but in other fields as well now what is the returning what do you want it to return it i want the id field the name field and the description field to be returned and then whatever the output is i am storing into this particular list here and then i am displaying the customer list here so this is what the sosl query looks like